so for those of you who don't know me, I am uh, that cybersecurity guy, and this is going to be my first Rumble video. Wasn't planning on making a video today at all. My my wife just had surgery, and so she called and said she, she was bleeding a little bit, so bring the phone along. I said, fine, okay, you know. So all day yesterday we were at the at the hospital, but uh, so anyway, uh, this is where it all began back in I think June. And uh, we're at the head of the Marshall Swamp Trail. Um, I was making videos with the Pixel 4, and uh, they turned out really well. And uh, for somebody who doesn't know what the hell he's doing, and uh, so uh, unfortunately, I set it on top of the car and took off, and it flew off the top of the car, and the car ran over <laughs> and destroyed it. <laughs> and so, so I bought the Samsung because I wasn't going to go back to the Pixel 4 because the 5. I, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't like the Pixel 5. I I prefer a bigger phone, a little bit bigger format than, uh, just wanted to kind of reach out to the veterans out there. See, this this is what I do. I had PTSD really bad after the war. See this? It's, I carry this weight along, and uh, I, had, I had some, also I had some uh, injuries after the war, so uh, this shoulder was really bad, but I got this, and so, you know, at first it hurt really bad just doing this motion here, or this motion over here, you know, and uh, but eventually, uh, I can uh, I can pl almost play tennis now again. I think I'm going to give it a try. And uh, the other thing is uh, get you a good set of headphones. Uh, one of the things was uh, cars would uh, backfire. And uh, man, I well, you know what? Let's let's get into all that, and I'll talk about it on the trail. You don't need to look at my stupid face. And uh, we'll get down on the trail. And I'm hoping I'm hoping the super study. I'm using the super study mode at 16.9. Um, Hopefully that's going to clear things up so that it's not so blurry because I noticed a couple of videos I posted with this phone just don't look very good. Uh, I'm going to get a GoPro, but I'm waiting for maybe the next uh, edition of the GoPro. So let's get going. So this was meant to be what I call my exercise day. Um, and that's where I just get out and hike until I can't hike no more. It used to be I'd be so beat up after like half a mile and then then it was a mile. And then it was two miles, and then it was three miles, and then I just kept keeping track of how far I was going and just, just would hike until I just felt like I needed to turn around and get back to the car. And uh, for all you veterans out there with PTSD, you know, that's all you need, man. You got to get you a good set of headphones because, uh, and you know, I'm talking about the noise blocking headphones because, like I was going to say, Every time a car would backfire, <laughs> you know, I'm hitting the deck, man, and all the civilians around you just look at you like you're out of your freaking mind. Like, what the hell is this guy laying on the ground for, you know, and uh, stupid stuff like that, you know, and uh, it's just uh, they don't understand, you know, what it is to be uh, in, at war. I hope they never have to. Um, so I just thought I'd make this video for Rumble. I'm not going to, you know, usually I just highlight the uh, the... The portions of the trail that uh, that I find interesting but today I just want to make one long video I'm gonna this will be my first uh, here we go got a guy coming in Excuse all right me. no problem man he's uh, I told you this is a good mountain bike trail in another video and uh, it's uh, but it's you know it's a walking trail too it's, you know some here in Florida we've got all three you got horse trails uh, which is kind of uh, unique and then you've got uh, hiking trails and then you've got uh, mountain bike trails and sometimes the foot trails combine with the uh, the mountain bike trails and uh, it's all good so uh, anyway I just thought I'd uh, throw that out to the veterans and so when I put these uh, headphones on they block out the surrounding noise and uh, you know good set of shoes and then you just walk and walk and walk and that will relieve that uh, that that pressure and uh, that's not going to help you sleep you know, I can tell you that right now. And, uh, you know, I do the melatonin and, uh, you know, uh, guys swear by the milk thistle. I take them both. And so, but, uh, you know, it's, all I can say is it's just going to take time. You know, now I sleep pretty good. Um, years later, what it took, what, let's see, what's that, 13 years? <laughs> 13 years before I could get a really decent night of sleep. And, you know, and then, you know, what would happen to me is I couldn't sleep for like three days and then you sleep 15 hours. Well, try working a job where you need to work 50, you know, sleep 15 hours, you know, every third day. And so, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's hard, man. You gotta, you just gotta work your way through it. I did. You can do it too. That's just my message to the veterans. I wanted to talk about the election too. Uh, 
you know, I'm getting tired of the media. You know, they are not God. You know, they can't call the election. We have a constitutional process that we're working through right now. Uh, it sure does look at this point like like Biden's going to steal. When I say steal, I, I've i never seen such, you know, evidence of massive fraud that's uh, trying to be covered up by the media. And uh, I can't understand how they think that, you know, you're going to govern 70 million people that are not going to believe the election results. Uh, you know, what we need just to bring the country together. If, you know, if you really wanted to be a unifying force for the country, whether it's Trump or Biden, you know, you need to re, re, redo those elections. And when I say redo, I mean re-vote, okay? You can audit all you want and you can recount, but if you're recounting fake ballots, that doesn't do anything, and people still aren't going to believe it. You can recount to your, your, your blue in the face, you know? See, oh, see it's kind of wet back in here. That's why we're only going to just do the top of the trail. I'm not going to go down into the swamp. But I just, uh, I love this portion of the trail, and i got to test this super, super study uh, slow-mo, or super study, uh, I'm sorry, super study mode on the phone. All right, so getting back to the election. So if you want to unify the country, you know, revote those controversial states and uh you know i would send in the federal agents i would have the fbi there i would have uh you know maybe even local law enforcement in those polling areas uh, making sure that the votes are legit and that there's no shenanigans taking place and uh and then you know hell i'm sure everybody would get behind that result and say you know whether it's biden or trump we would support the president and that's uh and that's what needs to take place. Otherwise, you know, it's a country divided. And how is that good for anybody? I just, I just don't get it. You know, and I'm, you know, if, if it's true that Biden stole the election, it's no wonder he doesn't want to revote. I bet Trump would go for it. I could be wrong. Uh, so that's just my, my view of the election. Okay, just switching hands here. I, like I said, I didn't bring the. Um, my uh, little uh, tower or selfie stick or whatever you want to call it, the stand, the stand for the phone. That's what I use for my selfie stick because I wasn't planning on making a video, but I wanted to throw something up on Rumble just to see, you know, what the process is. Uh, the other thing is I'm, I'm looking at this DaVinci uh, software for uh, editing the videos and hopefully rendering them a little bit better. But I'm, you know, it won't do any good if the camera on this phone, everything turns out blurry like it did. In the uh, in the other videos, so maybe this super study mode will, or fix that. Uh, and I've tried different resolutions. Uh, this is 16:9, so we'll see how it works out. Uh, I guess uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to talk about. I mean, I guess uh, you know I spent a month and a half of my life here recently, trying to get my mom or you know do what I could for her. You know, it's a shame. I I was just logged into her account last night. And it's so sad. She just lays up in the bed. She doesn't even get out of the bed. She just eats chips and lays in the bed, you know. And uh, it's, you know, if she moved into, like, I tried to get her down here to Florida, get her into some assisted living. She's got a long-term care policy. And she could have lived like a king, man. They had a, had a beautician there and a pedicure, manicure, you know, meals, free meals. And I say free, you know, it's $5,200 a month. But she can easily afford that with the long-term care policy. And, uh, you know, you can, and the thing was, they served uh, waitered meals from uh, 6 in the morning till 9 at night. That's Elon in the villages here. Boy, if you, if you ever want to get into assisted living, that's the place I recommend. I, I've looked at a bunch of them all over, and that's the best one I've seen. You know, used to be they had live music just down the road, but, of course, with the virus, that, a lot of that stuff. But, hell, we got the vaccine coming around the corner, so all that stuff should be kicking up here uh, within the the next year or half a year so we'll see what happens that's another thing you know the democrats were you know before the election they said that ah oh, there's going to be no vaccine you know trump did he's done a lot of good things man he he put in that whole program operation warp speed to get us a vaccine and uh, it looks like it's going to be successful well it is i mean pfizer's saying 90 percent success rate with their vaccine and i know some other companies that say they're coming out with it so it worked. Of course, they announced it after the election. So God knows we don't want to give Trump credit for anything. And, uh, you know, and of course, now Biden, he's going to say, oh, it was all me. I, uh, I, 
I, I, I'm here. I, I've manufactured the vaccine, you know. I, I sat in my basement, <laughs> and it, it came about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord. I tell you, it's a mixed-up world out there. I don't, just don't get it at all. Uh, anyway, I'm... I just hope Trump can, can work something out. He's done so many good things. Should have got that. Well, I mean, he's been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. He's made more progress in the Middle East than any president that I know of. So, I mean, and of course, the media covers all that up. They don't, they don't want anybody to know that, you know, he's got, what, three countries now signed on to a peace treaty with Israel. You know, he, and, and look how he thought outside the box. You know, let's just go around. You know, everybody tried to go through the Palestinians who blocked any sort of peace deal. And Trump says, no, you know what? If they don't want a deal, let's just go right around them. And we'll, we'll just negotiate directly with the other Arab, Arab nations and see if they want peace with Israel. Boom. You know, what, what a brilliant, brilliant stroke. Uh, and of course, he renegotiated those trade deals. Of course, Biden will take credit for all of that. I just saw in the news today, now Biden's going to bring in a bunch more refugees to the United States as soon as he gets in office and you know what I I'm I'm all for uh, you know bringing in refugees if they're vetted properly and they can contribute in some way to to the to the country you know maybe they they've got some skills that w that we need here um, but just to just to go out and bring people in when people here I mean look at how many people don't have a job right now you know we, we can't take care of the rest of the world when we can't even take care of ourselves I mean that's just utterly stupid and uh, so you know yeah we got to have a big heart and we got to do what's right but uh, that's not right you can't you can't displace you know Americans to bring in refugees uh, you know as much as we want to help them you know my suggestion is you know help them wherever they are and you know hopefully you know uh, get them back on their feet wherever wherever they are or deal with whatever in the world caused them to be refugees in the first place. You know, I, I, I've always felt that, you know, we misuse our military so immensely. You know, if you're going to have a, uh, uh, a good use of the military, okay, there was, there's been some genocides that have taken place. All right, I got, you know, we can't be the police of the world. I hear that statement all the time. But I'm going to tell you right now, there's not a guy... In uniform I'm gonna turn around now because it's getting wet and uh, I don't want to get muddy today I'm sick of being in, in the mud I'm not I'm not out trying to prove how tough I am and hike through the swamp so but uh, yeah getting back to that and you know illegal immigrants I mean I understand we have a legal immigration program you know let them in the, the, like I said the ones that can contribute something to the nation in some way shape or fashion you know you don't just open up your borders and let them pour across and you know like i i don't know what news the doggone liberals are getting i've heard them say well trump didn't build the wall well yeah of course i mean everybody on earth fought him i mean the dems in congress they wouldn't give him a dime to build that wall he and he did he did the same thing he did with uh israel he went right around them and he got that wall built and uh, man you got to respect that promise made promise kept so that's that's you know the that's how I judge a man. It's not by what he says, but by what he does. And, uh, you know, I hope that you will too. Uh, so hopefully he'll get, get some credit. All right, let's, let's hold it up right there.